My name is Laura Phillips and the show is called I Felt Like the Sound of a Harp and it's at the gallery at the Plymouth College of Art. So the core impetus for this project was the Pneumatic Institute, the building in which the exhibition is inspired by and there's a latent complexity to the presence in that site which has instigated a lot of the research in this in this project. So at that time, nitrous oxide was a newly discovered gas and Humphrey Davy, being Britain's number one chemist at the time, was looking into what were the properties of this gas. And what was interesting looking at Humphrey Davy's research and notes about these experiments is the struggle to articulate this new form of sensation induced by the gas. And the title uses one of these anecdotes from one of Humphrey Davy's patients in which he describes the sensation as I felt like the sound of a harp. So there's three kind of narratives going on within the work. At the time, really exciting, innovative, pioneering research that Humphrey Davy was doing in this space. And then this space becoming, during World War II, a kind of slum dwelling. And then thirdly, a similar space in Bristol that hosts these night raves. And they all have an interweaving relationship to this one substance, which is nitrous oxide. So there's a series of 10 banner works that frame the video work in the exhibition. And they also use a similar process that I've used in making the 16 mil film work. So the banners are made using quite tactile and layered printing processes, often using cyanotype, which is a photochemical process, screen printing, as well as dyeing. For me, the banners work architecturally around the gallery space to help frame the video work but also act as a way of orchestrating the movement of the viewers in the gallery. The exhibition has helped me push the work on a larger scale and this experience has brought together my most ambitious work to date and my first work in a white cube gallery context. Through it I've been able to learn new skills in textile printmaking so access to facilities has been a key benefit to this programme. So I have a, a junk practice which is with a group of musicians called Viridian. I normally play the waterphone as well as doing sound responsive visuals to what the band are playing. Our genre tends to be in the format of improvisation. There's something to be said about creating a language between one another outside of a sort of vocalised language that reflects these elements of resonance, dissonance, tone and rhythm that I like to draw upon in filmmaking but also in live performances. The visuals in the performance are sound responsive images of digital works that I've made and there's a feedback between the images that are created and then the musicians listening to those images, making sounds, and then those sounds being manipulated, creating the images again. Thank you.